Evening. So today, oh, hay fever's killing. Today you join me at Top Pool. Um, I'm a bit tired. Fished founders last night on a midweek bonanza with stew. Um, it was very tiring actually. Then think back. Um, we had. I think Stu had a cat just as it was going dark. Then he had one about 12 o'clock, half 12. And then I had four or five cats out and a bream between one o'clock and something like half four, half four, the last one was. Every time I got back in bed after doing my rods, I'd get beep, beep, and then it'd go quiet. And then five minutes later, it, my rod would take off. And I just couldn't keep my rods in water. So, uh, Stu, was, Stu had work the next day, but I've, I've not had work today, so I wasn't too bad. So what I did was I just, as, as I'd done my last fish, it was going late, and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go home and get in bed. So I didn't go back, I didn't go to sleep last night at all fishing. I just um, jumped in bed about half six, and I got up at ten or something like that. And uh, so I had a few hours sleep, so I'm still knackered from that. So yeah, I couldn't face doing that again on a on a weekday. I'm not I'm not going there for the midweek bonanza again now because that's twice we've had like seven or eight runs in the night. Um, it was a good job it was me last night because I said I didn't have work, but Stu Stu got up for one of the fish and then I didn't call him again because I knew he, I knew he had to be up. So yeah, so I'm on top pool. I'm fishing halfway down in the channel, and I've just got one either side of the channel against uh, against like the island but not not dead tight a little scrambler in the background so yeah um, just fishing for anything today um, whatever comes along won't mind um, won't mind a couple of carp or a carp or a bit catted out after the last two sessions on farmers I've had about 10 11 cats so I won't mind a couple of carp um, get back on them but we'll see. Um, fishing solid bags, but I've I've emptied out my freezer a bit. I've got a bit of hemp, got a bit of dead maggots. I've just I've just mixed everything up and making a bit of a solid bag out of it for a change, just to empty the freezer a bit. So yeah, that's what we're fishing on. Um, I'm probably just going to stay on that all night. Um, see what happens. But I'm just going to I'm going to have this brew. It's my first brew. And then I'm going to, about, I think it's about half seven, uh, I'm going to get my head down for half an hour if I can, just to top my sleep up. And then I'm not, I'm not um, falling asleep at ten o'clock and I can stay up till a little bit later and keep an eye on my rods and that. I like, I like staying up when I'm catfishing especially. It's like, I just like staying up and watching the water for a bit when it's gone dark, so... Uh, yeah, I'm going, to have a, I'm going to try and top my sleep up in a minute, have this. Get my head down, hopefully the coffee will kick in for when I wake up. And then um, hopefully we'll, we'll have one or two fish. I don't know how it's been fishing or anything, but I've just come on a whim. The water's cleared up a bit, or the algae's cleared up. The aerator's going down there, so it looks all right. Seen, seen a few ghosties on the top and a couple of decent carp cruising around on the top. So there's, there's a few, looks like there's a few in here. So we'll see what comes along and takes me bait if anything, might be a blank, who knows. So I'm going to get my head down now and uh, catch up with you in a bit. It's about 10 to 10 now, cowboy time and um, the rods are in, uh, solid bags with some extra boilies, some dead maggots and a bit of pellet round it as well. Gone all out, I'm just going to leave it now until something happens, if anything does. Um, tried to get some sleep, didn't. Failed miserably so I've had my tea. And now, um, I'm baited up, ready for the night. So yeah, spots over there near that tree. I've come off the hand a bit because there was a bit of crap on my rig when I reeled it in, so... I've come, I've come just off the island a bit more, so yeah, and I've got one to that tree there at the moment, and until 
if I see something jump out or anything like that or something fizzing up that's where they're staying for the night so I'm going to retire to my bivvy now um, have a chill for half an hour and get my head down once it goes dark because I need some sleep right fingers crossed for a bite even if it's one one bite one run one fish that'll do me right catch up with you later Just on the pack down now, about quarter to eight. Uh, nothing happened last night, absolutely nothing. I was a bit lazy fishing though, I was dead really, really tired. So basically I just dropped my rod in and I've left it. And if it didn't go, it didn't go. Well, come this morning, I think he had a couple of bleeps, but nothing. So yeah, just packing down now, just just unpegged my bivvy, ready, to, ready for the off ski. I've got to, I'm going to try and get off for half nine or something like that. So, anyway, looks like the, the blog's going to end here. A bit short, wasn't the best. A bit too tired to do all the filming, but yeah, anyway. So, anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. You wouldn't believe it. You wouldn't believe it. Last 45 minutes of fishing. And um, my rod's gone, my right hand rod. And I've just pulled out a carp. Looks like looks like the one he had last time, but it might be a bit bigger. So I have known they've put just all my stuff away, but I'm gonna just get it back out now and do a quick vid. But what a result. Um I thought I'd have been if I wasn't so tired I'd been off by now. But anyway, that last that extra hours caught me a fish, so it saved the blank. I've just texted a couple of people saying I'm blanked and blah 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 and next mate rod's gone so absolutely made up made it worthwhile now and it's a carp for a change so yeah I'll give you a quick show and then I'm going to end the vlog um, and again thanks for watching see you next time oh that was a bit of luck god I'm going to have to hurry up and pack up now um, I think say 45 minutes before pack up I mean, all night I've had my rods in hardly, hardly anything I'm sure this looks like the same ones I caught last the other week when I was on here. Like a little football. And it's about, I think it's 14 and a half, I've just worked it out. Oh uh, yeah, happy days, we've got a carp again. Hooray! Lovely, lovely condition though. This one scrapped quite well though, so I don't know if the other one come in like um, Sack of Spuds last time, but yeah, made up with that now. Bonus fish, I didn't think I was going to get out today. Was a bit lazy fishing, I was dead tired. Um, but superb. <laughs> Love it. Can't work out if it was 15 or 15 and a half or 14 and a half, but it doesn't really matter whether it's around 15 pound. So I'm going to check the photos when I get in, see if it's the same fish. I'll we'll know by that red mark unless it's only just unless it's fresh. But anyway, right. This is the end of the vlog, and um, see you next time wherever that is. I'll tell you one thing though, it won't be found as for the midweek. No chance. Not no chance. Too tired. Right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.